Hello boys and girls! Welcome back to Every Sunday Story Time. Today we are going to read a funny book about the adventures of Winnie the Witch and her cat, Wilbur. So let's jump right in. Winnie's Flying Carpet by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul. Winnie the Witch was busy writing letters. They were thank you letters for her birthday presents. Now there was only one left, the trickiest letter. Winnie's sisters, Wilma, Wanda and Wendy, had given her a flying carpet. Winnie had always wanted a flying carpet. But this flying carpet had been a disappointment. Actually, it had been a disaster. There was the time it got tangled in Winnie's washing. And the day it tipped over as they were passing a duck pond. And then one day it turned the corner too quickly. After that, Winnie rolled up the carpet, tied it with string, put it in the broom cupboard and locked the door. But Winnie wanted to write something nice about the carpet in her thank you letter. She unlocked the cupboard, untied the carpet and spread it on the armchair. It is a beautiful carpet, she thought. It seems a pity not to use it. So Winnie decided to give it one more chance. Just then the doorbell rang. Ding dong! Winnie hurried off to answer it. Just as Wilbur came in sight. After a busy morning climbing trees and chasing butterflies, he was ready for a sleep. The sun was shining on the flying carpet. It looked so warm and comfortable. Wilbur jumped up and in one minute he was snoring. The flying carpet waited one more minute. Then it rose gently into the air. Wilbur didn't wake up. It flew gently around the room. Wilbur didn't wake up. Then it zoomed out of the window. Wilbur woke up. Meow, he cried. Winnie heard him. She looked up just in time to see the flying carpet zoom up into the sky. Oh no, cried Winnie. She grabbed her magic wand and her broomstick and zoomed up into the sky after them. Winnie flew as fast as her broomstick could go, but the carpet was faster. It swooped over the clock tower and under a bridge. Winnie followed it. Hang on tight, Wilbur, she called. Meow, cried Wilbur. Then the carpet flew over a fun fair. What fun! First it whizzed down the roller coaster rocket. Winnie whizzed down behind it. Then it tried the terrible twister. The flying carpet was having a wonderful time. Wilbur was having a horrible time. Winnie was worried she would never catch them. Then she had an idea. She waved her magic wand, shouted Abracadabra! And everything stopped. Nothing whizzed or zoomed or shrieked or splashed. All was still, including the flying carpet. Wilbur jumped onto Winnie's shoulder. Purr, purr, he said. Then Winnie rolled up the flying carpet. Let's go home, Wilbur, she said. Bye, broomstick. Winnie waved her magic wand backwards. Abracadabra, she shouted, and everything started again. 
Winnie and Wilbur landed in Winnie's garden. Winnie frowned at the flying carpet. What would she do with it? Then Winnie had a wonderful idea. She shut her eyes, waved her wand, shouted, Abracadabra! And there, tied to two trees, was a beautiful hammock. Winnie and Wilbur climbed in. They were both very tired. The hammock rocked gently in the breeze. This is so comfortable, Wilbur, said Winnie. But Wilbur didn't hear her. He was already fast asleep. Wow, this was an amazing adventure on the flying carpet, don't you think? Poor Wilbur, he must have been terrified. I hope you liked the story too. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.